Today marks the 40th anniversary of the assassination of San Francisco Mayor George Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk. KPI X5 political reporter Melissa Kane is at City Hall with the memorial that was held earlier today. Melissa? Yes, we're here at City Hall right outside the mayor's office, and it was here 40 years ago today. Then Supervisor Dianne Feinstein delivered news that shocked San Francisco. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. So much has changed at City Hall. There are bars on the downstairs windows now where Supervisor Dan White snuck into the building 40 years ago. It was relatively easy if you knew the building, hop over and climb down. And that's exactly what he did. White then went to the mayor's office and shot George Moscone, then to the Board of Supervisors' office and shot Harvey Milk. But City Hall historian Ellen Schumer says renovations in the 90s made big changes, so it's hard to see exactly where the events happened. This was the offices of the Board of Supervisors. The room where Milk was shot is now a clerk's office. But even though so much has changed, at a memorial service here today, Moscone and Milk were honored for how they shaped the present. Mayor Breed says Moscone opened doors for minorities and women. To appoint African Americans, to appoint women, to appoint members of the LGBT community to commissions was significant at that time. She says that commitment to diversity endures. Just look at our city's leaders. And Supervisor Raphael Mandelman now represents the district that Milk used to represent on the board. Today, he talked about the importance of Milk's message that gay people have to stand up for their rights. He famously said that news of his election would give folks throughout this country in the hinterlands two new options. Um, move to San Francisco was one, uh, or stay and fight. Mandelman says they did both. And he points to the midterm elections. Part of that blue wave was 150 out LGBTQ people who were elected to positions around this country. Okay. Now, tonight, as is the case on every anniversary of this tragedy, there will be a candlelight vigil. It starts at Castro and Market Streets at 7 p.m. Live in San Francisco City Hall, Melissa Kane, KPIX 5. Melissa, I know you talked about the physical changes to the building and everything, but I really am struck by the, the doors that were opened by these two men, especially Harvey Milk. Look at where we are today. Uh, that is so true. I mean, just looking at that lineup of people now, the only openly gay member of the Board of Supervisors is Raphael Mandelman, but we've got two members of this community college board uh, and other members of the London Breed Administration and other elected city leaders that are openly gay. So absolutely here and as Supervisor Mandelman pointed out, across the nation. And London Breed herself breaking ground, so everywhere. Melissa Kane, thanks so much.